Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be learning how to calculate nominal GDP. With that said, let's get into it. So in class, your teacher or professor may ask you to calculate nominal GDP, in which case they will give you different products, different quantities, and different prices, and ask you to determine which belong in the determination of GDP and which do not. So first things first, let's review the definition that we used in a previous video to actually get a grasp on what GDP truly is. And the definition that we used was the market value of all final goods and services produced within a geographic area during a given period of time. And there's a couple of key things to consider in this definition, which we'll look at as we calculate. So the first thing is the market value. So remember, GDP is calculated in terms of market value or the number of dollars of output, not how many products were produced. So it's not like the GDP would consist of this many units of coffee and this many units of tea and this many units of pizza, etc. but rather the market value of each of these things added together. So how do you calculate the market value? Well, that's pretty simple. You take the quantity sold and you multiply it by the price per unit. That's going to give you the market value. Now in this economy, we're assuming that there are only five goods, coffee, tea, pizza, textbooks and paper. However, in this economy, we are assuming that paper is only used to make textbooks, pizza boxes, and coffee and tea takeout cups. That's the only use for paper in this economy. So once again, to calculate the market value, we'd simply multiply quantity times price. So for coffee, that's 100 times $2, which is $200. For tea, that's 75 times $2, which is $150. For pizza, that's 50 times $10, which is $500. For textbooks, that's 30 times $200, which is $6,000. And finally, for paper, that's 3,000 times 15 cents, which is $450. So far, so good? Perfect. So now that we've calculated the market value, let's revisit our GDP definition. So the market value of all final goods and services produced within a geographical region. So in our economy, we have four final goods and one intermediate good. That intermediate good is paper. Paper is not sold as a final product, but rather in our economy, only used as an intermediate good to produce the other four. So when calculating GDP, we actually don't include this because it's not a final good. After that, the rest is easy. We simply take all of these different market values and we add them up. When totaling them up, we get 6,850 and that's it. That's the nominal GDP in this simple economy where there's only four final products and one intermediate product. Once again, to recap, you calculate the market value and then you determine what is a final good and what's an intermediate good. You do not include the intermediate goods and then you simply sum up all of the market values. We hope that this video is a quick and easy explanation for you and that you have no problem calculating nominal GDP on an upcoming midterm or assignment. In the future, we'll be learning how to calculate real GDP, which is a little bit different, but make sure that you feel comfortable with this before moving on to that video. If you found this video helpful, let us know by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and of course, let us know in the comments section what sort of economic topics and or homework questions you'd like to see us cover in the future. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll catch you in the next.